Hi, this is Jody from Northern Country Kips. Welcome back. And I am doing kind of my first process um, tutorial on how I am working on the favorite recipes for Country Kitchen's cookbook um, junk journal. Um, this is the journal that I am working on, uh, and I will be selling this one. Um, so what we're going to work on is I just kind of want to show um, a little bit where I'm at. Um, I have my uh, pages. Oops, let me show you here. Get this open. Um, so I have my end pages in. And um, so I am working on all of the signatures uh, for the cookbook. So where I am at, sorry that's loud, um, is I am going to be working on, oh, where's my pages? Oh, actually it's right here. Okay, so I have, um, I use a lot of um, vintage magazine um, pages. So what I do ahead of time is I go through all of my cookbooks and vintage books that would um, that I would like colors in items. So I have a whole bunch of um, pages that I have tore out that um, I like the looks of. Um, this one's not vintage, but it's out of a um, Women's Day magazine. I just kind of like the flowers. Um, these are all vintage cookbook pages. Um, so I have um, an array of things. So I like this. I like this yellow. Um, it's a vintage um, exercise. Some menu pages. Um, these are out of a child craft book. Um, it happens to be about grocery store doors. Here's some um, uh, people at a table eating uh, cake. And I like the orange color. Um, here is um, how to dress drinks for a party. This is out of a vintage book. Um, here's another one, goodies on a stick. I like the pink colors. I'm trying to stay with the retro theme, um, but also kind of the country kitchen. Um, here's some blue, just a whole bunch of, um, of pages that I have taken out um, that has an array of uh, colors and themes um, and it all doesn't have to be cooking you know it's just it's all about the era um, also so I've got lots of pages um, <clears throat> and so what I'm looking for is I am making this a page within the book and I like the root vegetables um, I like this in the orange color, but I don't care for this on the back. This is kind of, um, this is not out of a vintage book, this page here. This may be, I don't know, five or ten years old um, type of a magazine. So I am going to look for, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a page that I want to go in here um, to, to maybe glue on. Um, this is appetizers, but I really don't want it to say that. Um, so I will look through here and, um, you know, look for something that is kind of cool. And it doesn't have to be vegetables. It just happens to be this is a page that, um, you know, maybe I'll do something like that. Cook it on a skewer. This is kind of a cool... Um, here's one how to measure pans, but this one I like the size. Um, this is a vintage one. This kind of looks nice on that side too. So that's a couple contenders. Um, here's another one too. It's a meal plan. And actually that would match really well. So I am going to go with that. <clears throat> so, um, and sorry, excuse my dog, um, uh, she's chewing a bone, so if you hear 
uh, grunting or whatever. Um, so since the page is going to be um, folded in half, so I kind of want to um, just get it centered on the page here and where I want the fold to be. So kind of right there. Um, so will that stick out of there. So, oh, now I have a fire whistle whistle going off. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. So what happens when you fold pages if after you glue it, it's going to be tight. Um, so what I will do is I am going to um, cut this, trim this where I want it, and <clears throat> it's going to um, bend there. So I will glue it on. I want to make sure my pages are correct the right way. So this is going to be in the book this way. The holes are. So when you look at it, you look at it this way. And then, so I definitely want to make sure that it's this way. Okay. So I'm going to um, glue on this first side. And, and I like it very raw, you know, I, I don't want it to be, um, super neat. I mean, I do want it to be neat, but, um, this is, um, you know, it's, I like my, to, my journals to be, um, organic and, um, you know, in that sense. I'm going to put a little bit more here on the edge. Okay, so now I'm going to put it there. I don't want to crowd the crease because I want my page to be there. Okay, so I'll do that. And that bends nice. Okay, now this side, I'm going to glue this on. And this is just a way to, um, you know, show your vintage pages that you want to be shown. Okay, and then I will give it a little bit of space, but yet really close, so it's all cohesive. And then glue that on there. And it folds really nice. So then I will come by and trim this off. Like that. And then that side is just the way it's supposed to be. And then um, punch my holes where they're supposed to go. In there. Okay. All right. So now I've got that. That's really good there. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll take some trim and go around or some edging on here. But I don't want to cover up my words. Um, I don't know if I'll put anything on the edge right now. I'll look to see how it looks in the book. Um, and so then um, I will just kind of go around and um, do my edges here. So that's how I will do this for now. Um, not sure if I'll put pockets or anything in there, but this is the page that I want to put in there right now. Okay, 
and then I might dowel that up more later, but okay, so this one um, I have put on a vintage, um, another vintage mm, kind of a recipe book advertisement that showed kind of a label of what um, some tomatoes were. And then, so I have, um, uh, let's see what's a good thing to use here. So I've got a pocket up here that I can put something in. The pocket's here. Pocket here. Then on the outside I have a pocket here. And then on the back, um, I haven't decided what to do there yet. <clears throat> so on this one, I think I want to add some trim to the edge of this. See, it will be in the book this way, so when you open it, um, it will be on the opposite side. So, just trying to see if I want the trim to be on the inside. Peeking out like that, or if I want it on this way. So, let's see. And this is this is um, like a seam seam binding lace. So um, I kind of like. You know, I think I will do it this way. So I will use my Faber Tac and put that on the edge here. And this. Um, pocket is only open on one side so and then I want the trim to there's a right side and a, a right and back side so so I kind of want it this way I'm just going to put it on the edge there like that just put it along the edge and then I um, don't need any more glue, so I'll close that up. And let me cut that off. Okay, so that kind of gives it a nice finished edge, and I'll let that dry. Okay. So that kind of gives it a nice little lacy edge. Um, if you can see that, that's pretty nice looking there. Okay, and then let's see. So that will go in there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to the back yet. And then, so I've got, oh, you know what I was gonna do was put this, um, I was gonna make a pocket out of this going to put, um, let's see, oh that's two, I've got some cards already made up, but they're like off cuts of things, but um, let me see what else I got, oh I have a Tiffany lamp, that's kind of cool, that was part of a picture that I cut off for in here, um, so maybe, I will figure out how to do this as a pocket. Um, so maybe I will trim this off here and put some glue in the bottom so it kind of makes it a um, sealed up pocket. Okay, now I have a pocket here and I'm not sure what I will do with it. I don't know. Sometimes I ponder on things and um, think on them for a while and <laughs> and then maybe I don't even use it or um, I just kind of go with the flow. But um, I kind of like having a pocket. I'm not sure if I want it on that though. Um, so I've got this little cut off. Here, that's kind of too busy, I think. Um, let's see what else.
else have I got here in my tr trusty little tray of my cuts? Sometimes I just have So maybe I will do, here is a vintage, I have a whole thing full of vintage, um, oh, like the, um, let me see if it does it say, Betty Crocker, yeah, it's Betty Crocker's step-by-step -step recipes, it's a brand new box, it was one of those yellow plastic boxes with two rows of um, recipe, like how-to cards, um, <clears throat> Ooh, I like this one because the color matches. So maybe I will do that. Here's another one. Oh, this is how to. Um, this could just be plain. Um, a taste for tea. So I'm gonna kind of use these as journaling cards and whatnot. Um, this one's high altitude cooking. So maybe if I. Um, I kind of want to use this as a pocket because this is kind of good information handling um, yeast dough. Um, so see, I always take different, <laughs> I always do different things. So then I like, oh, maybe I like this on here. Um, but this is kind of all vegetables. So maybe I will wait on that one. And this is high altitude cooking for broiling, frying. Um, so maybe I will take some pattern paper so maybe I'll do that I'll take some pattern paper and just kind of tear off a piece okay and get my glue stick here so maybe I will Put this on see I don't like it there's a crease there so I will just kind of cut that away so I don't have to deal with it um, so maybe I will put this on here and I like it where there's a whole bunch of stuff to see and so then maybe I will put the pocket down here um, I also have some of this really cool fabric ribbon um, so I'm not sure if I'll use that. Um, there's a striped one too. Although I might not put any ribbon on it at all. I'm just kind of checking here. This is how I do things. I just kind of go with the flow. So I like this here. So I'm just going to pull this back. I'm going to eyeball of where the glue stick needs to go. And just start sticking it on. Okay, and then just keep going with it. And that's kind of the whole thing down here. And that goes all the way down to there. Okay, and so just pull it so it uh, is smooth. It gets that wrinkle out. the looks of that. So I have a little bit of an edge here that's missing some. So I just pull it back and go along the edge there. Okay. All right. Bit on this edge here. All right. So I just was using just a Scotch permanent glue glue stick, and I always have a baby wipe handy to wipe my hands. Um, and then um, so I will cut the edges of that off. So I was
was inspired by um, Lace Covered Skies, uh, Le Leia, I think is her name. Um, when I saw her video on retro cookbook journals and retro journals, um, I kind of just fell in love with that. Um, I absolutely loved um, how she does her journals. And so that's how I started um, doing the uh, vintage retro, and I just love it. Um, I always have, actually. I like looking through the reminisce books um, uh, and so um, so when I seen her video of her journals, I was like, oh my gosh, I could do some retro journals and I really like that. So and then I have this little, uh, there is a sticky spot on st top of here. I am going to stick the sticker on there um, to get that residue off and add that little thing on there. So now I have a tiny little pocket. Um, here's a, a little vintage Mother Hubbard <laughs> and the fairies a story. So this, you know, it's got a picture of her with a loaf of bread and whatnot. Um, so I will back this onto probably some cardstock like this. So let's get that on there. Um, so let me put that on there. I love my glitter glue. I love that. So let's put that on some cardstock. And then, um, darn, I should have, um, I should have put a, um, tab on there first so that it was underneath, but that's okay. Um, let's see, these are, this is a small one. Let me see if I can get that underneath there. Oh, yep. I might be able to. Perfect. All right, so let's get some glue on there. A little tab on there. And some on the back of this. Oops, didn't get it on there. Okay, not cooperating. Let's put that glue back in there, some on there. Let's see if we can't get this little bugger back in there. This was one of those afterthoughts, right? Okay. There we go. All right. That glue is so strong. Okay. All right. Fill that up. I'm going to cut this piece off. And All right. I guess I've got to some glue on my scissors here. All right. So, all right. Let's, um, you know what? I already cleaned that out. I was just a little corner around on there. And that one's already square, so. All right. Now, down there. Alright. Okay, so now I have a little pocket for that to go in there. 
and it fits down there just perfect and peeks up. Okay, now I will put, let's take that back out. Let's do my edges here. Just to get them a little darker. All right. And my pocket. So, you know, I may do something, you know, I might um, put a little piece of lace on here too. Um, I may do that. Or a piece of material. Or I just may leave it like that. Because I don't want to take away from the Mother Hubbard. And then this can be just a little, you know, for recipe or a little idea there. So now I can put this on here. And I can make another pocket out of it on this side. So what I'll do is, um, this is going to be in the journal this way. So I'm going to glue around the edges here and make this an additional pocket here. Okay, so I'm going to glue here. I always have to make sure I got the right side. Oh yeah, and this is, um, well I thought it had the date on it. Okay, and let's go maybe here. And Kind of make it somewhat even on there. Okay. All right. I'll put my topper back on. Oh, and so those of you who um, I will do a tutorial on this too. Um, so the art glitter glue, you know, since you have to put a pin in here, I made I make these toppers to put in there to, um, for one, it's easy to find. Two, um, it's bigger to handle instead of just a little tiny ball on top. So um, I will show in a video how I make those. Okay, so now I have finished this one. I added some elements to it. And let's see, um, so I'm not sure where in here I gotta put this, but um, this is gonna be a great journal. I just love it. Um, I love the vintage. Um, yeah, so can't wait to uh, show you when I'm all finished. But I just thought I would take a few minutes and kind of show you um, a little little bit of my uh, process of it. Um, like I said, I take you know lots of vintage papers. I, I use nothing digital. Um, everything is true vintage or you know used items. So um, yeah, so can't wait for this one to be finished and it'll be great. Um, this is a little Kellogg's bear, and so I made a um, tuck spot out of that for journal cards, or for your recipe cards. Um, and then another one here, this is air, Old Fashioned Airlines, um, talks about um, their occupation and the training you have to have. This came out of a, um, was it? No, it came out of an encyclo an older encyclopedia that's kind of like a cardstock um, paper. So um, this has been so much fun. I just absolutely love these. So um, that's it. I don't want to make the video too long because I know um, you know a lot of them are like an hour long. I just wanted to show a quick um, few things that I, how I do them and. Um, so I hope you enjoy my video and I will hopefully just do another one and um, I will show how to make my little topper to the um, art glitter glue. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.